Uh, the ears, um, the ears template, easy approach for requirement syntax from Alistair Marvin. It's becoming very popular in many industries, especially in aerospace. And you'll see why in, in a second. <clears throat> so ears um, proposes, <clears throat> excuse me, five different templates. One of them is the ubiquitous template that whatever part of the system shall do something that's very similar to the template that we saw earlier. Um, but some other templates that you can use as necessary, you can combine them and you can create your own version of ears. This is very important. The second template is the state driven requirements. So while the system is in a state, then the system shall do this. So uh, while the aircraft is flying, then the system will display a, you know, a, a flashing light in the cockpit. The interesting thing about this one is that if we're able to consistently represent um, the state-driven requirements with this template, all of a sudden we will see a whole bunch of requirements bundled together using the while statement. So we already know, first of all, that we're dealing with states, we can very quickly focus on the second word after a while and then figure out all the states. And it's going to be a hundred times easier to write that document than if we were using random sentences. Very structured. It allows us to focus our vision in what's important. And we can scan through a, um, a requirements document in a matter of seconds just by looking at, at that. We have the event-driven requirements. So when this happens, then this happens. So when the pilot turns the, uh, you know, the the switch on, then the system will turn on. You know, and then there are two interesting ones. I'll skip the optional feature one to go straight to the unwanted behavior. I'll come back to the optional. The unwanted behavior requirements are almost identical to the event driven in the sense that when something happens can also be described as if, but uh, we're gonna reserve the if for, um, for unwanted behavior or failure modes. And that will resonate for some of them. So something that the safety team might need to take into consideration. So if there is a power outage, if there's a hacking, if the aircraft is hit by a lightning. So everything that uh, should not be the desired outcome of the system, but can happen. So that way we can just get all the ifs and make sure that uh, we could even do a risk analysis over all those, right? To see if we have contemplated everything. Um, and then finally, the optional feature, uh, that means that this is the equivalent of be able to, that's everything that the system should be possible to do if there is a condition. So where a specific feature is included, then the system will, will do this, right?